Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Cher. I am a professional makeup artist and also a beauty blogger. You can check out my pages. I'm going to put them on the screen here. Um, so what we're going to be doing in today's episode is depotting lipstick. Sounds kind of scary. I am very scared to be honest with you. I have never done this before. So you're going to be coming along for the ride with me. Um, so what is the purpose of depotting lipstick? Basically, I have so many different lipsticks um, that I use for professional makeup. I wouldn't really recommend this for just your average person who doesn't necessarily have a ton of lipstick. So the purpose um, that I was getting at is sometimes when I am on the road, I do travel sometimes and do makeup. Um, I may only need to do makeup for one or two people. So I need a way to have my products be more portable. Um, I'm also just running out of space. I mean, just clear and simple, I don't have a lot of room left for storing all of the makeup that I have. Um, so what I've done is bought a little craft kit. And as you see here, I really should have it be smaller. It's probably not gonna take up, you know, as much in each square. But you can basically buy like jewelry organizers, craft organizers. Um, I should probably have gone a lot smaller than this, like I said. But what you do is you scoop out the lipstick out of your lipstick bullet, mush it up and put it each in a separate little container. So it's like you're making a little lipstick palette out of it. Like I've said, my case is probably a little big for this um so I recommend getting a smaller one but you know um but anyway so it just helps because it's like you just you have everything out you can see all the colors right in front of you um so the idea is to have it be very quick and easy and portable um have everything at your fingertips so it's kind of like this idea so this is Graftobian and I recently got this. It's a professional makeup kit. And also kind of like the um, RCMA palette. So for example, I use this RCMA palette a lot. It's my concealer palette. Um, and then that way you're not, because I have probably like 40 different concealers in my kit. So instead of lugging around a whole bunch of different concealers, it's so much easier to have like one of these. And then you can mix and match, find the right shades and colors and you kind of have something for everybody here. So same idea. And then also, I don't know if you've heard of Saint. I really like the um, MLM Saint. It used to be Mascara Beauty, but they've rebranded. So kind of that same concept. This is a palette from them where you can get, um, these are like foundations and contour and highlight and all of that kind of stuff. So they have, one of the things I really use from them are their lips, their lip shades. And you can use these for, um, blush as well. They're contour and bronze. I mean, honestly, you can use it for lip liner. So, um, it's so like versatile and everything. So I'm kind of trying to create the same DIY idea. So I'm trying to do it with lips though, because I have a million different tubes of lipstick. And like I said, they're just out of control. There is one more thing I wanted to touch on before we get started. Um, this is something I've been wanting to incorporate for a long time. I actually kind of touched on it a little bit a long time ago and then got away from it. So I haven't been as um, consistent, but. So basically my makeup practice, the mission and the heart behind it is to make my clients feel beautiful, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. So, um, I'd love to kind of touch on sort of the self-love, self-care topics. I call all of this mindful beauty is sort of the niche I wrap it all under. I really want to incorporate into my content more. So I was thinking that in my videos, I'm going to try to wrap a little bit of this in there. And we're going to have like a little lesson of each video so that you have a little bit of outside beauty as well as inside. Okay. So today's topic, we're talking about depotting lipsticks. So, you know, we're taking this perfectly good lipstick that is beautiful 
and we're about to cut the sucker out and mash it up. Some days we feel, we feel this way. We are so beautiful, there is nothing wrong with us, but the world and society comes along and mashes up our dreams. This is like our heart and our soul and then what we're about to do to the sucker. <laughs> That's after the world gets done with us. So, boy, do I feel like that some days. I feel like that today. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little discouraged. I feel like absolute, complete and utter shit. And I'm doing something for myself to make myself feel better, to be honest with you. I love beauty. I love making YouTube videos. And part of this is for me as much as for you. Um, you think about what we're about to do. We're, we're stomping on this. <laughs> but this lipstick is about to shine. Yeah, it's not in this, um, this state. But what we're about to do and put it into the palette, think about how much more useful it's about to be. Okay? Um, so, sometimes what I like to think of in manifesting is, I tell myself every day I'm a big believer in affirmations. And when things look like they're going kind of crappy, <laughs> I tell myself, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. This is all working out for me. I'm getting stomped on. All these things are happening because the universe is working this out for the best possible outcome. Not just for my good, but for me to work out to be the core of who I am. So we're taking these babies back to the core. We're gonna put them in this palette and this is gonna get so much more use because you know what? Yes, this baby looks beautiful like this. It really does, but guess what? I haven't used it worth a darn bit. You know why? It's because I hadn't been able to find them in my case. I need like all of these colors. So it's gonna get so much more use and it's going to shine once it's in my palette. So let this be a lesson to everybody. Yes, it may seem like everything sucks, but when you keep that attitude of this is all going to work out for my good and even better than before, it comes to pass. <laughs> anyway, that's my little lesson for today. Remember that you are beautiful. You are just as beautiful in this as you are in the palette smushed up. Because you know what? It's all going to look exactly the same on somebody's lips but it's going to get used a whole lot more. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, just going to do my drugstore today. The reason is because I just, it breaks my heart. It just breaks my heart to think about butchering my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't think I can take out a knife and like butcher my lipstick. I just don't think I can but I can do it with drugstores just fine. I'm like, okay, we're good. This is fine. My $8 lipstick, we're good. Okay, so the things you want to have. So first of all, we talked about getting your little organizer again. I recommend a much smaller one. And then I'm just putting down some napkins just in case so I don't get all over my table. And you may want just like a big um, stainless steel like mixing pal or something. I'm just honestly using a paper plate just because I don't feel like sanitizing my mixers again. And then I have a note card where I'm going to write down all the colors, okay? Um, and what I'm probably going to do is first map them out on here so I can kind of see how they look. So we're just going to start going through the colors. I'm going to take all the tops off of everything to see them. Okay, so here are all the drugstore ones that I'm going to be depotting. Okay, so what I have done is I've kind of gone through and put a little swab of each of these in rows because I'm going to do rows of four across here in the beginning um, and then so this way I'll know kind of what colors they are what they look like and then on the back I'm going to put what these are behind them if that makes sense um 
or I might just write underneath them. So I'm gonna work on that real quick. Okay, so I actually put the numbers under, I made a mess, but I can tell which ones are which. And then on the back, I've got it listed which ones they are. And then so I will tape this up here to the top of it, or have it somewhere down in here so that I always know what the names are if I need them. Now you can just kind of get the little spatula that comes with the mixing palettes, but I'm just using a butter knife. It's easier to me because I can't find my spatula actually. <laughs> I didn't feel like ordering a new one, so here we go. Okay, so I'm taking my first one. I'm gonna do a really cheapo one just in case to start off with. <laughs> so this is like a wet and wild one. And I'm just gonna come right on in here. Oh my goodness, voila, I can't believe it. I can't believe I just did that. And I'm just gonna come dig as much out of here as I possibly can. Um, okay, so it looks like you may need to come in with some other, something to really dig out every tiny last drop because I'm somebody who like, I can't stand waste at all. And actually we will probably get more out of this by doing it because think about it, when your lipsticks get pretty flat, you toss them and there's all of this down in there that you could still be using. So, okay. Oh my, oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. I've got the sound of thunder in the background too. It's like dun dun dun. Okay, I'm showing you what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna try to just kind of get it into a little batch here. So this is also gonna be a lot better for me because I like to make like bridal kits and stuff for my brides and sometimes for bridesmaids if we have time. And so how much easier is that when you can just put a little splatter in there um, instead of trying to like get it off of the lipstick. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop it right on in here. Now, as I said, you need a much smaller container for this, obviously, because it barely even fills up <laughs> the whole thing. Okay, so another thing that I'm doing too, especially on certain ones, if it has a pretty creamy texture, I'm leaving it alone. But if it's one that I know I don't like the texture on it, I'm actually mixing in a little dab of clear lip, lip gloss. Um, I do this all the time anyway. You know, I just kind of mix up textures. So that's what we're gonna do is just go ahead and have it mixed ahead of time and it makes it easier okay it's gonna be really hard to do this one because this is one of my favorite colors i love this color so much it's so pretty i'm honestly gonna go right ahead and pop it in there instead of on here and then i'm gonna dig to get the rest of it out Oh, that's just heart wrenching, heart wrenching guys to have to do this, but I am getting a lot more out of it when you think about it. And of course we're going to use, you know, a lip brush to apply. Okay. And so another thing you need are Q-tips or something or another spatula or knife or something to help these things like slide off this main knife because <laughs> it gets stuck. All right. So that worked better. I really recommend doing it that way. Just go ahead and plop it in there like that. And then you can kind of squish it while it's down in it. Okay, so another tip, if you don't wanna use one of these big, huge things, they do sell little tins, like what the Saint lip palettes come in, if you've ever seen Saint. Um, so you can buy those separately and then put those into a magnetic palette. So it's a little more cohesive looking. This might be a little messy and crazy. So it's just up to you. There's different ways of doing this. 
Okay, now that one I got squished up a lot easier and better, so it really does work better. Just get it in there first and then squish it down. Okay, guys, I've got four, no, 16. 16 different shades done, so this is what it looks like. Um, you gotta go deep in there to get it, and it's very, very messy. <laughs> So if you have a flatter pan, I recommend that a lot more, but this still works. And then we can just close it up and this is how we're going to carry it. We have all of the empty lipsticks. Woohoo! Very heartbreaking. <laughs> so as you can see, I've still got quite a bit of lip stuff left in here. Um, but for now, I am just going to put this here on the top. It's going to be <clears throat> pretty handy. And it was just kind of my first experience with this, trying to see how it would go. I wanted to do it on the drugstores first before I go messing around with any of my really good high-end stuff. So um, I'll think about it. If I do go with another one for the high-end, I'm definitely going probably with the small little tins that I will put into a magnetic palette so we get more thin. But this is it. All right, guys, well, that about wraps it up. It was very interesting. First time depotting, so it was an interesting experience. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some helpful tips. And if you ever decide you want to brave this, that you've seen it once at least, and maybe it's not quite so crazy. Um, anyway, if you enjoy things like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss ones like this in the future. And uh, check out all of my socials and um, I will link them down below for you. And I will see you on the next one.